hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to use uh, migration pass in s4 hana in s4 hana we have a new tool called ltmc ltmc is standard for legacy transfer migration cockpit so if you compare the the data migration with ecc and s4 hana in ecc we have the thing called lsmw right so when it comes to the new version in SAP, we have this tool called LTMC to migrate our master data or the transactional data and to do a bulk upload. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to take an example of a material bomb, uh, how to upload a material bomb using the LTMC transaction. You know, if we take the material bomb, we have the header material and we have multiple components. And we have the quantities, base quantities, plan details, and valid validity dates. Lot of information, right? So, uh, from the LTMC, I am going to do the bomb upload, bill of material upload. So, to go to the transaction, that tool, you have to press LTMC. So, when you press the transaction code it will navigate to the, the explorer window and it will open up the uh, LTMC overview, right? So there can be some errors uh, possible when you do, when you, when you uh, use this for the very first time, right? So then you have to uh, sit with your basis consultant and uh, so do the needful. So this is the first screen. Uh, you can create a migration project under this one. Okay. So I give the migration project uh, called uh, KHZ1. Likewise. Okay. So we are going to transfer the data, and so we create. Okay. So this is the seg this is to segregate my work, right? So inside this project, I can upload uh, whatever the uh, different different master data or the transactional data within this project. Okay. So now I'm inside that project. Now here I search the uh, upload program which I need to use. So I'm going to use the do the bomb upload. So I search bomb. Okay. So there are multiple production version my material bomb equipment. Okay. And so I'm I'm going to use this material bomb to upload the bomb, right? This can be different uh, into your case. Okay. And please note that this is not super pass, right? Sometimes you will see this kind of loading. Uh, it will take some time to load uh, from one window to another window. So you have to be pa very patient. But this is very useful tool. Because you know the LSNW is not easy, uh, so it has the limitations, right? And but this tool is very easy. Uh, you can upload uh, the any type of data, or any transactional data or master data, very easily, right? Okay. Now I'm inside the the my project and I select the uh, upload program material bomb. Now uh, here you can see we can download the template okay so this downloading option if you press this one right it will download the excel file uh, template to fill the data right so when we use the lsnw so we have to prepare the excel file ourselves and we have to fill the data right so here the sap has the embedded file okay so this is the file uh, and so before this video, I filled some data to the file as well. So in the first view, first sheet, you have the descriptions, long description, right? And the next window, you have the field list. So each field, you can see the, uh, the length details and the description. If you are not sure about uh, some fields, you can get idea from here, the what is the field maximum length, which I can use. Then I have the bomb header. Okay. So I have to enter my finished good material here, uh, the plant, bomb usage. I'm not going to explain these uh, fields because 
uh, the bomb creation you already know i have already uploaded the separate video right so this can be different according to a scenario maybe it's a material master upload bomb upload routing upload okay uh, info set upload price master upload alternative bomb and i give the validity date and the bomb status uh, base quantity and these things base unit of measure for bomb iso format okay it means uh, if you are using some unit of measures you can enter the normal unit of measure here so in this bomb i am using to to means start right but you can't enter to here you have to find what is the iso format of this unit of measure so to find that one so in sap we have the table called t006 okay so go to that table from using xc16 n and enter the internal unit of measure you want to find the iso code and execute then you will get the iso code tne right so in this excel i have entered the tne and you can give the bomb description and the bomb long test any additional information you want right then i have the bomb item so it means in the bomb we have the header material for that header material we have we can have multiple uh, components so again you enter the for which uh, finish good you are going to enter this component you enter the plant bomb usage alternative bomb and these fields are mandatory right from component and the component quantity and the iso unit of measure okay now i save this excel file to my ltmc window and i select this upload file and i browse my file from the desktop so this is my file okay and i give the meaningful name ah seeds bomb upload and you can give any additional comment if you want and you press the upload button now we have to do some steps few steps like the ltmc right but the steps are different here you have to press the activate button right and then start transfer okay so it will process right so data validation is in progress uh, you can if you press this icon it will run in the background now it's uh, running in the foreground yeah you can minimize this and you can continue some other work as well okay so we have to wait until this is uh, increased to 100 percent okay now you can press this clause right now uh, give your focus to this uh, this this section so i have few information messages those are warnings so i can proceed doesn't matter if there is error you have to read the error and you have to find the solution okay and i press the next button then we will move, move to the mapping window so if I press this one, select this one line item and I click this. So this is the kind of data mapping, right? The source value and the S4 HANA target value. So these both should be same. If you want to, uh, if here, let's say in the Excel file, this is the value entered. Let's say you, in the mistaken, you have entered the different one, but for the target value, you can change it and give the correct value. No need to uh, change the total excel again and do the re-upload again like in ldmc okay so this is correct mm. and i check confirm and save if you do this uh, upload for the first time it's better if you can uh, select this line one by one and do the mapping right but I do this all these ones 
so I confirm mapping values for all the rows. So the first step is to validate data. <clears throat> Second step is convert values. Okay. Now the third step is simulate. You do the simulate before you process it into the SAP database. Okay. If any error, you can identify it uh, before you processing. Okay. But you know in LTMC, if you run an Excel file, it will uh, update the data to the database until the error comes. At that point, it will step, stop, right? But here, the scenario is different. There is an option to skip the simulate, but I process with the simulation. It's, it's important. Okay. Now the simulation is happening. Okay. I close the window here. Give your focus. Is there any errors? Right? No errors, only the information, so I can proceed. Then I press next button. Okay. While this one is running, this is my material number. Now I'm going to view this in SAP. Okay. Now the data in import is also completed. right so you can press finish okay now if i go to the sap i go back and go to the bomb display i enter my material and here the bomb is already created if i go to the header data this is the text i am given the base quantity valid from date and everything is there so the bombs are created. So the finally, right? If you have thousand bombs, you can enter the thousand bomb finish good material here, and for the thousand finish good, you can enter the whatever number of components here. Let's say for bomb one, you can have a two components, right? Then you repeat this thing and add the second component. This is how you are going to use uh, the LTMC in SAP. So hope you have learned uh, the functions in LTMC from this video. Thank you very much for watching my video and please subscribe for my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.